What's up everyone? Welcome to another QTP tutorial brought to you by www.qtptutorial.net. I am so glad to have everybody here today. I appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to join us. It's always a pleasure to teach everybody and help this community grow. If you are new to qtptutorial.net, let me tell you what we do here. We take all of our knowledge and our experience over the years we bundle it up into high quality videos to make anybody from manual tester into an automation engineer or even take a current automation engineer and make you guys extreme experts. Our goal is to teach everything from A to Z related to QTP automation and that's what we do. So if you're interested, keep watching. Today, we're going to discuss a very popular topic and that is API testing. I'm going to be doing it with the latest version of QTP at the time, which is now UFT 11.5. So why this topic is so important these days is that slowly the agile testing methodology is taking over the waterfall testing methodology. And as a result, there's much less time for automation testing and much less time for GUI testing. And so what's becoming important is API testing. API testing is the new standard that you should be able to do when you're automating applications. So before I get into it and show you guys how to do API testing, I think it's very important that we just go over a few basics. This is actually a pretty complicated topic. Creating the API architecture is a very complex process, but I'm going to try and cover the basics just to give you guys a basic understanding of what you need to know so that you can proceed comfortably after this point.